nothing. I just came to talk. Uh, I'm not going to make this long and drawn out, but um, I wasn't really happy um, with the way that I left the situation that happened here the other day with Sam. Um, I felt like I may have said some things that might have offended you. Right, but she, so she's a little person. I'm a little person too. Your son's a little person. You know, I have no issues with little people because if I had issues with little people, we wouldn't be here to this day. I just wanted to personally apologize to you for what I said. I appreciate Nico coming over to apologize, but I'm still pretty aggravated with what he said. He disrespected me, Sam, his kids, and little people in general. I have zero tolerance for comments like that. I wasn't intentionally trying to offend little people. I just have a specific issue with Sam. Every time I see Sam, she's coming out the mouth sideways. I'm hearing about her talking about me. And the only reason why she's able to talk about me is because of things that you told her. So that's where my issue is with you. She said it's unusual for us to be here at the same time. That's what she said. No. Not saying that it was unusual no, for you to be here. you're not gonna stop here. my intelligence. She has this mindset that I am not around because you keep trying to tell everybody that I'm not present, that I'm not helping, that I'm not doing anything, that I didn't do enough, that I was never there for Jaden. Did she, did she not say all of a sudden you want to be in your kid's life? Did she, she say that? She decided to say that. That's who did she get that from? She got it from you. It's the truth. It's not the truth. You I was know? there. I was there. Sam said well, then, she said. I didn't well, then put your friends her. in your place. I'm kids, not here to defend you. Are, you. Huh? I'm not here to defend you're you. You're not here to defend me, but no. you're here to talk no. about me in the streets. I'm not I defend you. I defend you. I'm not yelling. This is typical Nico. He says he came to apologize and then ends up blaming me for everything that he said to Sam. I am always here for you. I'm always going to be here for you. You can me over. You can talk about me in the streets. I'm always going to be here for you. Yes, I'm always going to yell and hurt because I still love you, period. Coming up. 91, are you serious? Let me say, this is why I moved back for the rest of our lives. What? They want to go off the internet. You talk a lot of Yes, I'm always going to yell and hurt because I still love you, period. Everyone knows it. Your family knows it. Bond knows it. You know it. Everyone knows that I'm in love with you. I don't know how to be normal and quiet and the, the perfect silent dad. I don't know how to do that. I just know how to be crazy for time. That's all I know how to do, OK? You act like the things that took place after you moved to Atlanta did not f happen. Shut up. I don't care anymore. I don't want to talk about it to you or anyone. You I do don't. care. You just don't, don't. don't want to talk about it because, Tom, you're not over it because the fact that you're still getting emotion about it, you are. You're not as loud as me, but you are. It still affects you. You're lying I'm to yourself. So you are lying ways. to yourself. You are you lying to yourself. Crying? So you're over it. Yes. Ten years of friendship and you're over it. Yep. This so is love. your daughter or leave. Okay. Like you said, it's over. It is. You're faking it. I am way beyond Nico romantically. I'm with Vaughn now, and he just needs to accept that. Come here. Okay. Go in the room. Go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have to go through to get over us or me or whatever, you need to go through. I'm done with you. I need you to understand that. I'm mostly drained at this point, so I'm just going to leave. That's it. OK. Ooh. Oh, my god.